Hello friend, this is Kulyan Patra and uh, I don't know, truly speaking, I don't know whether this casteism will be abolished or not because it has been started uh, in the long past in ancient India, 5000 years, 5, uh, 5 to 6000 years ago in the era of Ramayana Mahabharata. There was a prominent proof that casteism was also prevailed at that time. Because I'll uh, share a story of uh, Mahabharata here and for this reason after a long time I am doing this video. In Mahabharata there is the incident is that there are so many sages, great sages like Vasistha, Durvasa, uh, Vishwamitra, etc. There are so many Angira um, and their Parasar. There are so many sages uh, and Munis and Rishis are there in that, in that time. And you will be surprised to know that in that is even in the mind of the, those sages, Muni, Rishi and uh, great sages, in their mind also there is some differences, quality difference. And this quality difference uh, is one kind of casteism. Because there was an incident in Mahabharata uh, that uh, the sages, the uh, Rishi Vishwamitra was angry upon all the other sages, all the most of the other sages. Because why the reason is that in the Asamed Jagga or in, in a great Jagga, uh, when the Jagga was happened, was performed, then <coughs> the sages, all the sages would uh, sit uh, round the uh, fire. The fire in the middle and the sages would uh, sit uh, round the fire. But, but the, uh, uh, the first, uh, there are uh, the first row, in the first circle, in the first circle, the Brahman sages would sit. And the next circle, the Khatriya sages would sit. And the uh, third circle, there are some other than Khatriya. And the last circle, only uh, Sudra, uh, Sar, uh, Sudra sages would sit. And Vishwamitra was a great powerful sages and he belonged to Sudra community. And so this type of discrimination Lord uh, Rishi Vishwamitra would never tolerate it. Tolerate. And he uh, became rebellious against the other angry and rebellious against the other sages and the customs. And uh, he thought that this is the mankind who discriminate themselves and I will create a world where the man would be produced, man would be take, uh, take birth not from man or woman but from tree. And so he make a great yoga, no, uh, sadhana, what is called uh, meditation or sadhana. And he tried to uh, make, uh, he tried to um, uh, a, 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 a sadhana that so that the man can be taken birth from tree and he was almost successful when he was almost successful then Lord Narada the <coughs> Narada told to uh, Brahma first that uh, Lord, uh, Rishi Vishwamitra was trying to make uh, to make an another world where people will take birth from tree and he is almost successful I think. Then Brahma in his own power thought that Vishwamitra was absolutely, uh, Narada was absolutely right and Vishwamitra was trying to make uh, a world where the people will be born from the tree. And so he uh, 
at once go to Lord Vishnu and Lord Vishnu see uh, that uh, yes he is going he is doing that then all them go to Lord Shiva Lord Shiva also agree with that yes Vishwamitra uh, Lord Vishwamitra is doing that and then Lord Shiva told Lord Vishnu to do something so that uh, Vishwamitra should not um, uh, do that job that people will be born man will be born from tree and that way Lord Vishnu then sent Urbhusi Manoka in the earth the only duty of the Urbhusi is to tempt Lord uh, 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 so that his meditation or his sadhana would be destroyed and Manoka was <coughs> doing and dancing and singing and uh, 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 Lord Vishnu first uh, told Indra, Lord Indra, uh, please share, uh, please uh, do something and Lord Indra sent, sent his uh, one of his Urbhusi from his uh, royal place uh, to the earth that is Lord Manuka, uh, um, Urbhusi Manaka to break up the uh, meditation to break the sadhana of Vishwamitra Muni and then Manoka came and uh, <clears throat> performed so many dance and finally she succeeded to break the sadhana of uh, Vishwamitra and Vishwamitra was almost tried uh, to, <clears throat> uh, to his venture that is people will born from tree and that is from coconut tree and that is why in coconut there are two eyes two eyes and one mouth in the when we uh, when we um, we see that coconut also has two eyes and one mouth and <coughs> coconut milk coconut um, coconut milk is almost equal to the milk of a mother uh, so uh, uh, it was all the casteism was started very earlier stage but Lord Krishna in Gita told that Chatur Varnang Maya Sistam Guna Karma Vibhagasa that means uh, the fourth uh, four number of caste I have created uh, due to this uh, due to their work and their quality and this uh, nothing more but uh, uh, the, 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 this particular method has been abolished by the some critical people by some cunning people afterwards because they think that this casteism will go on continuing through blood relation but blood Lord Krishna never told in the Gita that it should be continued through blood relation. He told in the Gita that as per their work and as per their quality, this casteism, this, uh, there are four castes in the human society. As per their work and as per their quality of mind, quality of uh, their mind, this four caste is, has been divided in the society. But later on, after the era of Mahabharata, they have made it as blood relation that Brahmin's son will be Brahmin, his son will be Brahmin, his son will be Brahmin and this this is gone. But this is misconcept, this is misinterpretation of the sloka of Gita that what Lord Krishna told to Arjuna. Thank you so much and uh, it is a very mm, sinful event and casteism is a, uh, is a, uh, a crime one kind of untouchability and casteism we don't feel but uh, Baba Sahib Amitkar have felt what they what tortured he had been he had been uh, endured in his lifetime and so thank you uh, it should be abolished from the mind of progressive man thank you